What's happening chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 42 on my journey to 1200 ELO. So we're going to get right into today's game. And uh, cue the music. Switch the scene. Uh, let's get some of this Twitch stuff off the screen. Sorry about that. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Twitch, go ahead and try. It's a, it's a good way to check me out. Just playing some fun chess. We do a lot of blitz chess and just chilling. Some puzzles and stuff. Um, yeah. Let's see who we're playing today. So, I had a win yesterday. It was a pretty quick game. Um, I also was coming off of a loss that was kind of tough where I've been... I've been having trouble winning with the... The clock has been one of my biggest enemies. And, uh been tough to deal with i feel like i have winning positions sometimes and just lose games because of the clock so i need to manage my time a bit better um whether that be just playing chess that makes my moves a little easier sometimes and not overthinking things probably um i don't know why this is taking so long so i play 10-5 as you guys know but um Usually it doesn't take this long. Okay. Fred Pacman. He is a, over 100 points higher rated than I am. He plays F4. I don't know where to start with that. I'm going to play D5. Whoa. So I've never played somebody that plays like this. Um, I'm just going to play moves that I think are are okay. I'm going to pin their knight. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to fianchetto their dark squared bishop. That's cool. Um, I can just develop. Let's see. I think, um, I think we'll get a knight out and then I'll push for E6. And now my knight is defended by my queen as well. The bishop's defended. I'm just one move away from getting castled potentially. Um, so I don't know if this is at all how you play against an opening like this, but this is just my thought process. <clears throat> um, okay. Maybe he's trying to get into here. Um can't go here so i'm going to play a6 just to prevent maybe something that he's trying to do all right so we get the bishop coming in i could play a move like this he takes i take he takes that's not really going to do me much good um i can also just develop my bishop now um <clears throat> i can take i can So if so if I bring my knight into here and he takes I'm about to win this knight. If I don't do that and bring the knight just in here, he can't really kick me out very easily. At least until the queen or until yeah. Okay. So at least until he kicks me out like this queen comes and then he can just take me okay so we won't do that um i'm just gonna get a knight out and develop nice and easy um bishop come in next and castling all right so he takes with his king um or excuse me i said he takes with his king what am i talking about he castles his king um i am going to develop my bishop i need to watch out for a push in the center i think right now it's fine yeah so he's kind of setting it up i feel like now um if he pushes i can take however i think i'm going to just take the knight now and castle so castling this way feels pretty dangerous right now but perhaps it's not 
Um, <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to castle. I feel like I have enough of my pieces over here. Maybe he brings the rook here. I, I mean, I feel like he's going to start attacking me now. So he brings the queen over here. Um, so I want to bring the bishop back now. That is definitely a move that I want to play. I'm also assuming he's going to double up here. I am defended here. Um, let's see. I can bring my knight into here attacking that bishop actually yeah this is now an issue a little bit if he doubles up so maybe i should preemptively try and take this bishop off the file it doesn't look like the bishop can go anywhere else on the file so i think i will try and remove the bishop from play to keep my life a little bit better um the bishop can't go to any of these squares if he takes i can take all right, he takes. Um, okay. That's a good move. <clears throat> so I have to take here. And then this becomes an issue and it's checkmate. Interesting. If I take here like this... I think I have to take with the pawn. I can't take here because this is checkmate. If I take with the pawn, he slides over here. I have to move my king. Or he just does this. If I take like this, he gives a check here and then this is still checkmate. Huh. That's crazy. I'm straight up lost. Hmm. I don't really have another move, I don't think. This bishop is a problem. I have to take here first. I have no way to block, except for bringing my queen up here after that. Oh, what? I can't even do that, no. Yeah, I don't have any moves. Um, moving my queen is not an option. This is checkmate. I have to take here. I mean, I let him checkmate me i guess this is checkmate right now so yikes um that sucked <laughs> let's check the game review um he played with 92.3 percent accuracy i played with 59.3 so he destroyed me basically um so it all started with me moving my bishop out it wasn't a great move locking the bishop at home i guess with the way that i built my structure is a better move um it doesn't seem like anything really went south until castling was the big issue. So it was definitely a bad idea to castle into what he was trying to do. He found a way to destroy me, and uh, it worked. <laughs> so he played like a 1750. I played like an 1100. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. So we're going to play another game. Yep, we get two games today. Um, we'll see how I do. I usually don't do very well after I just got crushed <laughs> in a game, but I feel pretty good right now, so we'll see. Um, so, good luck, D. Va Vana Vanen Val Van. I don't know how to pronounce that, but good luck, my friend. He is from Costa Rica. It's a pretty cool flag. So, we're going to play the London. London setup. Um... This guy is also about a th or 100 points higher rated than I am. So hopefully he doesn't play as uh, systematically as uh, my other opponent. Um, so typically when this happens, I like to... Uh, I wish I was playing the Joe Baba. But I don't think I should play the Joe Baba. I think that I should play the regular London... Excuse me. Indigestion. Um... Yeah, I just want to play the regular London. Um, bringing my knight out is a good move. I know that 
playing c4 and getting my knight here is also not a terrible move but i like to just play i'm just literally thinking about playing the regular london so um as far as that's concerned i think that we get the knight out and maybe we just try and trade the bishop I think that going knight to d2 is a better move, but the reason I don't like playing that immediately is because they um, don't trade, or I can't trade the bishop immediately, I guess. And I find that the bishop is annoying. So I'm going to put my knight in the center of the board on e5, blocking this, because I don't want to trade my bishop. <clears throat> and uh, if he takes, a lot of times you take with the pawn. In this case, the knight's not on f6 yet. So maybe I take with the bishop. I don't know. But, um, yeah. This is a little bit different than what I'm used to typically in the London. Usually we get all of our pieces out first. They have a knight on f3. Uh, or f6, excuse me. Um, okay. So if he takes, I am taking with the pawn. That's for sure. Um, I think we'll go for maybe just a trade of bishops and I can get ready to castle um, if he takes I'll take with the pawn I think that's what I would like to do and uh, yeah pretty comfortable there the pawn would be defended um, and it stops his knight from ever coming into f6. And it will kick his bishop away. So, I like, I think I like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm good with this. Um, my king is ready to be castled probably on the very next move. This knight needs to develop. Um... I think I'm going to go to D2. And, um... Castle. So... My plan seems pretty normal. Um, okay. So, he's trying to maybe bring his bishop over to here. I'm not too worried about that right now. I think castling is a fine move. I also think that... If he takes, like, my pawn recapturing is fine as well. Um... Castling is probably what I should do, and then I'll just get my knight over to d2 as quick as possible. Um, if he does play bishop to g5, I think I'll just let him take. I'm going to continue developing. And, uh, yeah, that's my plan. So, I think I have this check also as a move. So,. Yeah, so I'm fine. I'm going to finish developing, and then I'm thinking about this check since he's just moving his bishop a bunch of times. I'm okay with that. I'm assuming he's going to take. I mean, he can bring the queen here now. If I play a move like this, it weakens my light squares. Um, so if I play a move like this before he castles, what is he going to do? Check. I can win the pawn. He brings his rook here. I can win another pawn. He wins this pawn. I can then trap his rook in there if I want to, but these are up for grabs. I don't think that's going to be... Maybe it's a good move. I don't know. Um, maybe this should happen first. He's going to castle in the very next move. So, does this do anything? If I play that, he can block with his queen. Then I do this. And that's actually a good move. So, I'm going to try this. He can also block this way. I didn't really... 100% get that correct. Um, 
This pawn is hanging. I think it's poisoned. I probably shouldn't take it, so I'm probably not going to. Um, I think knight here is definitely the move. He could also just push a pawn as well. If he does that, I'll just move the queen. Could take the pawn in that circumstance, but I don't think that it'll behoove me once he moves the rook over to the open file. So I imagine that he'll play pawn or a uh, knight to c6. Um, if he plays knight to c6, <clears throat> I will... Hmm. I don't know what I'll do, actually. I mean, I can develop my knight over this way or come this way. So we don't have to evaluate all that. He plays um, pawn to c6. I could take with my queen, but I'm not really convinced that I'm doing so hot after all of this. Um, I don't have a dark squared bishop over here like I normally do in the London. So <clears throat> I think that I will just back up and uh, maybe we can start an attack on this side of the board my rooks are connected I could attack on this side with some pawns as well I could just do a queen side attack and kind of try and keep an eye on this pawn which is not defended at the moment um, this kind of stops the queen from ever coming in here but it weakens my light squares quite a bit um, if I just go like this, my opponent moves here, I can push. I think I am going to just push my H pawn and see if it behooves me at all. Um, if he moves here, I think I push again. And I can bring my queen over. I can bring the knight over as well. I guess he could bring his queen in right now. Which is kind of a thing. So if I bring the knight in attacking the queen, he just moves here. I could... What is he threatening? So if he does this... If I play a move like this, we're looking at some sac sacrificing things going on, maybe. <clears throat> if I don't defend my pawn, I'm going to lose it. So maybe the best idea is to move my queen in here. If I come here... Queen takes, I take, knight takes. I'm not a big fan of that. So I am going to, I think, move into here. Eh, I don't know. I'm, I hate when I do things like this. I am defending the pawn still. But uh, this is not really what I wanted. Maybe coming all the way over here was better. Um, so I can go for a queen trade. He's double attacking me right now. Um, I can come over here and defend and ask you what you're doing. Um, I guess that also defends this move, which is probably not the worst thing in the world. And it attacks his knight, so he's probably going to have to go back. Um, and if I do that, I mean, my pawn is still in a little bit of trouble. Um, But I'm attacking the knight, so I'm assuming he'll go back. 
if that's the case, do I just bring my queen back over? Could come all the way over here as well. And if he just wants to trade queens, we trade queens, but... Um, so he takes a pawn. So I figured that would maybe be the case. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I can attack the knight, which is one thing. I can also bring my knight over to here. This pawn is hanging. Um, I could bring this rook over to defend. I could... attack the queen um let's see i think maybe just kicking the knight is not a terrible idea maybe it is um i don't want the knight here though so maybe we just say bye to it um i mean he doesn't have he can go here he can go back here um, he can't go here. He can't go... I guess he could... I mean, if he does go there, I'll take... I could take with the queen. I could take with the pawn. I could take with the knight. So, yeah, he can't really go there. Can't go here. Can't really go here. Can't go here. Um, can't go here or here. So, he's got two squares. I think one is better than the other. I think this is probably... F5 is probably the square he should go to. Um... Now, with that being said, this pawn is hanging now. Um, I can defend it with a rook move. I can kick the queen, and he just takes the pawn then. I can defend it with my knight. I think defending it with my knight is not a terrible move. And then we can work on moving from there. Um, and my rooks can come into the game. He is up a pawn, but maybe I have, I don't, I mean, maybe my position sucks. I don't know. I have this pawn all the way up the board and I'm finding it hard to defend at the moment. He could, so he's coming to attack my, my knight. Um, I don't know. I'm not finding that this is such a compelling idea but maybe it is he takes i take if i take he takes this pawn is under attack i can come over to defend it um yeah i'm not I'm not seeing why I can't do something. If I play this move, he takes. That doesn't work. Um, if I play a move like this, nothing is going on. But he is threatening to... This is a fork. So if I play this... He's got to move his queen, right? If he takes my knight, that's check. So that's why it works. So if I play this, he takes my knight. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. So the fork doesn't work. But I could just take his knight. I'm going to take his knight. And I'm going to slide over here and defend the pawn. Maybe ideas of getting my rooks over to the H file. Um, so is he threatening to get in here? Possibly. Can I prevent it? I sure can. Can move a rook to the D file to stop him from coming in here. 
I can move my queen down, which might be what I end up doing. Still in defense of this pawn. I can... I think I'll do that because now I'm thinking also about pushing f4. So the queen can't take the pawn. I mean, you know, running out of some squares to go to. We're gonna attack the queen immediately with f4. This kind of weakens my king. Um, but the queen can't, I, I guess the queen can come here. If that happens, I can play rook over and the queen is running out of squares. So, yeah, I think the queen should go back, yeah. Um, I'm going to go for an attack, and this might just be stupid. I don't really know, but... <clears throat> I think that I should go for an attack and uh, maybe try and migrate my king away from some of what's going on. Um, so if I take, he comes in, it's a little bit annoying, right? Um, if I push, he can just keep pushing. We don't really want that either. So I think I need to take, even though it allows him to come in. I can, uh, go for a trade immediately, maybe. I can also over, try and over defend this pawn. Um. So he can take, I can take with my queen. Um, so that's a weird move. I can just take the rook. Um, so if I push, he takes, I take. I don't know how much of an attack I actually have. If I take here, he takes. I can't move the rook to attack him. <clears throat> However, I don't think that I have to take the rook right now. He might just double up and then I need to take a rook. And it's looking a little bit different there. Um, Let's see. So if I take, he takes. Not a, I, I'm just going to do that right now. <clears throat> he takes with check as well. So I do need to move my king after that. So maybe it was a good idea to take because he could have just had a discovery check, probably winning a rook. And I'm in check. Um, so I can't take, right, and give him a back rank mate. If I defend, he takes. I take. He takes with check. I don't like that. If I'm here... And he takes, yeah, that doesn't work at all. Um, funny, if I move here, he still just takes, and that's not what I really want either. But if I come here, 
he takes and man I'm out of time so we'll just slide the king out of the way he needs to take back he's up a pawn I'm not really doing very well my king is not safe his king is pretty safe I would say um, I also am gonna have trouble defending these pawns so and he's up on the clock best of all so this is under attack I am defending it but I think that if I push I'm in a little bit better of standing so oh gosh man maybe not um, I have my king and my queen on the same file, so this is actually pretty sketchy. Um, I cannot allow the rook to be able to come here. So, probably try and trade. I don't know. It depends on where he moves his queen. If he moves his queen here. Oh boy. I don't know. If he moves his queen here. I have to move my queen off the file or my king off the file. Probably my king forward. Yikes. Yeah, this becomes really scary. My king is not safe. I have 35 seconds. This pawn is very weak. If I push it, he takes, I take push all right so he does go there i need to get my king off the file um also i could just uh it's tough i think i i think i need to move the king forward and when he comes down into here i'm screwed basically um i mean got to gotta trade um, I'm threatening back rank stuff I don't know he can just indefinitely check me probably he can't come here and he can't come here he can move here no he can't because I can take I don't think I should take. I'm totally down material. But queen to f5 is probably his best bet, maybe. Still don't have to trade. Actually, yeah, I do. Yeah. I have to. My king is more active than his, but this is literally math. Um, this is a completely losing end game for me. He can just play this. Takes. Takes. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't even get in any farther. I've blocked my uh, king from uh, progressing. Um, so, I don't know. I'll try and get in this way. definitely lost um yeah I don't know definitely a lost end game this sucks I hate losing a bunch of elo in one day but I didn't really feel like my mind was at its best today I'm a little tired from work and stuff and uh yeah, I mean, I guess it shows. Uh, 
I'm so slow. And it's for check. <laughs> so bad. Oh boy. He can just take here if he wants to and just promote these. Or he can do that. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. That was not fun. <laughs> At all. <laughs> that was terrible. So I've lost... Uh, 12 points of rating. Uh, yikes. We're never going to get to 1,200 when I play like this. This sucks. Hopefully I do a little better. I have fun playing. <laughs> I just am not seeing the bigger picture, I guess. Um, I had one miss, nine inaccuracies. My opponent had a blunder and a mistake and two inaccuracies. Played with 76.3% accuracy. They played with 87.4%. Um, so this was kind of a long game. We went into like a London-ish system where he just, I don't know. This was a blunder. What's my best move here? Or his best move is to play that. So I straight up missed the blunder. Taking here is a good idea, I suppose, because of check. Is that it yeah and I attack the pawn I mean okay I saw the move I just I didn't think that I mean I guess it is a good idea he had to come back to defend um, and it gives me a little bit better pawn structure than whatever I have here um, I thought that this was fine but the computer is agreeing that I'm in a bad position now um, my opponent finds pretty much all the things that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh, this was just ultimately better in the first place. He's not threatening anything here anymore, but I don't know. I didn't, I didn't feel very comfortable at all like this, but instead I go to lose a lot of my pawns here with not defending this properly. So taking was not the move. Moving my king just out of the way would have been a better idea, but this is already too late. So once he once he played d4, I had I had the issue. Um, my best move here is actually queen in because the queen has to take. But black is completely winning here, so um, it's their world, and I'm just living in it this ends up being horrible for me and uh we go into a completely losing end game <laughs> where i just get completely curb stomped oh my god it's terrible 1200 is i guess what the computer evaluates my play as i don't feel like i played that well uh, my opponent played like a 1550 i mean he just schooled me so i don't have much to say about it i wish i played a little bit more intelligently i guess i think right here maybe just seeing that him taking coming in with the queen maybe losing this pawn i mean that's the thing is like you know he has to bring his queen back to defend so i still get to keep the pawn um i i should have been able to see that and then playing a move like f4 just kind of makes this like a really cool structure where i'm pretty strong i should have seen that maybe a little earlier given the check winning the pawn um you know, after I take, of course, because the queen recaptures and then the rook is in trouble. So I think if I can, I just need to work on some of my tactics because I just lost two games in a row kind of with not seeing what my opponent wanted, I guess, out of, out of everything. But you guys let me know in the comments as usual. It helps when y'all do comment. I like to learn off of 
things that you see versus what I see. Because I'm just looking at the engine moves and I don't really see the ideas all the time. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It's always fun watching your boy lose a little bit of the elo he's worked so hard for. But it's all right. It's part of the journey. And uh, I had fun playing today. So, thank you guys and I will catch you next time.